everybody, it's Victoria Marie back with another process video and this one is of my little girl during Easter time. I must have done this layout 10 gajillion million times. The problem is I don't like the kit that I'm using. <laughs> um, all of you know I subscribe to Scraptastic and any other month I would probably love the kit and I purchased two kits, two of the main kits this time around. And this kit is called I Lived and it looked great um, to me when I was looking at it online. And then when I got it and start looking at it and I did kind of a review of it and I thought, oh, this is gonna be exciting to use. And I actually pulled it out to use it. I decided I didn't like it, but I spent my money on it. So I'm gonna try to get some mileage out of it. So I take two of the exclusive papers, that yellow paper at the bottom that looks like it has some um, triangles across it. And then the one at the top, that's a little bit more white and gritty. Um, that is, or has a grid, looks like it has a diagonal grid. <laughs> Um, those are exclusive from Scraptastic and that stripe paper that I used as a joint on the paper to kind of bring those two together in the middle, that's from Heidi Swap. Um, and I think that's called September Skies, um, her Light Spectrum collection or from her Sep September Skies collection. So I position the photos, that large photo with my daughter with the creepy little Easter bunny because all Easter bunnies are creepy. <laughs> is a five by seven and the other ones are a little short of a four by six so i wanted to do a multi-photo layout so yay for all of those who wonder why some of us only scrapbook one photo well there you go <laughs> more than one so i grabbed some die cuts the die cuts that i'm going to be using on this page not only just the regular die cuts but the sticker ones um those are from simple stories snap um, life documented collection as well as the, the stickers are from there as well and then the die cuts are also simple stories the title that I'm using is um, for that happy, it's an acrylic um, piece, which I absolutely love, and that's exclusive to the Scraptastic kit. And then I'm also gonna use some thickers called Marquee, and I don't like these thickers. I think they're hideous, but you know, they came with the kit, so I'm gonna use them. <laughs> I add some adhesive on the back of there, some Tombow Mono, and now I'm putting down those thickers. They're okay, they're not that hideous, they're okay. I think they look better on other people's layouts. This was just a rough layout. You know, sometimes you just have those layouts where it's like, you know, you just gotta get the memory down. The, the design's not coming together, the colors aren't coming together. And some of you may be looking at this like, girl, what are you talking about? But I just did not like this. But you know what, it's documented, so there you go. So that sticker is, I think that's, I, th I wanna say that's Simple Stories, but I can't remember. And I decided to use my tiny attacher, which was a bad idea because it didn't end up looking all that great. And you probably don't notice that on the video. I'm also noting, noticing my cutting mat is like tilted. See, I'm type A. So those of you who are type A are probably thinking, straighten up your cutting mat. I'm sorry, it's just gonna be like that throughout the video. <laughs> that Saturday sticker die cut, I believe is also from Simple Stories as well. So I grabbed some O-Snap um, from Simple Stories, the um, enamel dots. I'm gonna put those around the page and get those oriented. And I think at this point I am, oh yes. And so I pull out the exclusive, some exclusive die cuts that came with the kit. And those are stars. And I decide to add a background to that star die cut there. And I really, really love that stripe paper. So I'm trying to, that was one thing I do like out of the collection. Some that I don't, I don't actually hate this entire collection to tell you honestly, there's bits and pieces of it, pieces of it that I like but I hate wasting money on scrapbook materials. And so I'm gonna probably try to end up killing this kit or maybe giving some things away. Okay, so there you go. And then I grab a flare that says happy, which is kind of redundant to the title. And I don't realize that until after I make this layout, <laughs> but it's just gonna have to work. So I adhere that on with some Tombow Mono and I'm going to pop up that flare that says happy with a um, foam square. And that's probably the, my most favorite part of the page, <laughs> to tell you honestly. And then there's another star at the top and I decide to cover that with some of that um, stripe paper as well from Heidi Swap. And at first I glue it and I put it on the wrong side of the paper. <laughs> so I have to cut out another square and do it all over again. I'm glad that I just finished this layout because now I can move on. It's been stuck on my desk for a week now and I've been meaning to do this process video. I was like, oh, I gotta get a video proce uh, uh, processed and up on the channel and it just wasn't coming together and then I ended up not having a whole lot of time. So those stickers are from Simple Stories. The um, Snap Life document, we got a lot from that. 
collection. I just decided just to sit down and just get this done. And then I find this geotag in that same sticker collection that says you. And I just like the green. I don't really care that it says you. I just wanted some a different color there. Then I am looking through my die cuts and seeing what else will work. So I grab a heart. And then I'm going to probably look at another heart to go on the left-hand side above the star, I believe. But I don't think it'll make it. And at this point, I think I'm starting to get a little bit happier with this page. I think more than anything, the photos take center stage, which I believe they should on a scrapbook page. And so I probably didn't need to do a ton of embellishing, but it worked out in the end. All right, so I'm going to slow the video down and you'll see some close-ups of the layout. And overall, eh, it's okay. It's done. I'm moving on. <laughs> Sometimes that just... It happens. You have those moments where you set out with a goal in mind or a vision of what you think that layout's going to look like and it, and it just doesn't. So photos are coming up. Thanks everyone. Have a great day. Thank you.